Wow! So day one is over, almost. First of all, um, I would like to thank you all because it's really wonderful to see uh, almost 250, maybe 300 people still here after the whole day. And I'm sure that you guys will uh, enjoy also tomorrow, uh, which is a community day uh, for the first time, as said. And please be welcome to come, uh, even if you are not uh, any booking for any reservation for the workshops, we'll, we'll uh, help you to fit in. So, um, before leaving the floor to Gabby, um, I just want to say um, thanks to, again, to all the sponsors of the summit and also to Asset Camera, which is a special uh, a company from uh, Rome Chamber of Commerce that uh, was really uh, a partner in this uh, uh, organization. And uh, also let me say that I'm, mm, I want to say that I feel uh, privileged to be, to have, having been the co-chair of this uh, Open Outdoor Summit, especially to work with the awesome team, uh, which is made of Addy, Zach, Nahid, Eileen, Alicia, Gabby, and everyone. And um, you know, the, the, the thing that uh, uh, pushed me a lot to, you know, candidate to be the, <laughs> the co-chair of this summit uh, was really the uh, feeling that I had uh, that there is a worldwide community right now looking into these problems, these issues. And uh, um, moving the summit to Europe has been a challenge, but it's some, in some ways has been really, you know, a great uh, opportunity to build new links, to build new... Uh, bridges, because I'm, not, I'm sure that we need to work more, but we also need to work more together uh, in this uh, community and, and to achieve uh, probably you know, more you know, high objectives, more challenging objectives. Say that, that's, that's all for me. I want to say thanks all the all last thing to Sostanza Record that uh, created the beautiful music that was uh, in the background for the day. Sostanza Record, it's a, a net uh, label that produced music in the commons uh, since uh, several years here in Rome. So thanks Sostanza. And then I leave the floor to Gabby and that uh, we'll talk about what we have in mind for the future also. Thank you. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to Simone and thank you to the rest of the co-chairs and everybody for coming, um, even if you came a long distance. Um, I'm Gabriella, Gabriella Levine, as introduced. I'm the current president of Oshawa, which is the Open Source Hardware Association. And a little bit of background. Um, before background, though, um, I just wanted to say um, uh, okay, two things. The Open Source Hardware Association, briefly, is a nonprofit based in the US that's meant to educate the community about what is open source hardware, represent the voice of the community, take data about the community, and sort of house the definition and lead the initiative for open source hardware. Why open source hardware? That I don't think I need to go into because I think we got a lot of. Um, a lot of answers today about sort of the start of why should we be coming together um, and why, why is open source hardware important. But initially, I had been drawn to open source hardware because I felt that I was joining an awesome community who wanted to proliferate innovation, share knowledge, and together through that, find an alternative to the patent IP system in order to just go directly into making a tech and, and something come real without dealing with a lot of the legal work. Um, there still is legal work, but how do, how do I make something and get it out fastest? So this, uh, this image is by Cesar Harada, the founder of Prote, who I worked closely with. And I really like it because it shows what I like to call this network of innovation. Really government, industry, citizens, and academia working together in parallel to try to bring something to fruition. So instead of being this sequential way where something's researched for a few years and then um, there is a lot of legal work for a few years and then finally goes to manufacturing, everything can happen at once. And I think we saw a lot of that today through some of the initiatives that are happening. So that's awesome and it's exciting. And 
for me, it's the fourth summit that I've been to, and it's, it's really, it's, it's cool to be here and to have it internationally for the first time. So, um, I, I just, I wanted to sum up some of the cool things that I heard today. Um, so it's, it's cool to hear, I, I really liked hearing about the bill of materials and so much about how important that is because I think that standardization for how do you document something, that's something that I'd love to hear more about in the future. Um, making visible the invisible, let's keep doing that. Um, how do you provide tools to citizens and then use the tools to create a community? And then hearing something took 20 days just from the prototype to shipping, that's awesome. And the question of scale, I think how could we really come together as a community globally to scale things up and make this happen more? Um, so, what is Oshawa a little bit more and what has happened in the past year? So Oshawa was founded in 2011 by Alicia Gibbs and a lot of other people here who came together after the second summit and said, we need some sort of centralized organization to house the definition and really represent the community. So since then, a lot has happened. A definition of open source hardware was standardized and has been, there have been a few revisions, but that's online at freedomdefined dot org slash open source hardware or something like that. Um, and that basically says that open source hardware is any hardware whose designs are made publicly available for anybody to use, modify, distribute, and share for commercial or other purposes. So this past year has been exciting. One thing is that Oshawa got the conference for the, the summit for the first time internationally here in Rome. So that's awesome. Woo! <laughs> Another cool thing is that there was a quick reference guide that Alicia and others contributed on. So now it, it's, it's intended to make open source hardware and getting started with open source hardware a little bit easier. What are some of the things to consider right away? What are some of the guidelines? So it's just a quick reference guide that can be found linked to from the Oshawa.org website. And um, so that's uh, some initiative towards standardization and getting started with open source hardware. A really cool blog post and instructional um, post was how, to, how do you um, host a meeting with your Congress on open source hardware. So that's cool and you should take a look and then do it. Um, another cool thing, um, not totally Oshawa related, but as mentioned before by Addy, Alicia is releasing a book that she wrote with some other contributors here who spoke called Building Open Source Hardware. So that will be, I think, really cool in proliferating more knowledge about it towards the community. Another cool thing is five women were funded to come, to have international funding to come here. And that's something that Oshawa hopes to continue. So that's really exciting and we're glad you're here. And a really cool thing is that Oshawa finally got the official nonprofit 501c3 status. Woo! <laughs> so what does that mean? Well, <laughs> the first thing is that um, donations could be tax deductible. Membership donations could also be tax deductible. So. Um, as an official nonprofit, we're going to do a membership drive where we're trying to double our members that we have now. So become a member if you're not, or tell your friends to if you are, and th that will be just a really cool thing to accelerate Oshawa. Um, what will a membership do? Um, it gives you priority access to the events like this. Um, it gives you a voice and in the community, in the in um, some of the things that happen. It also gives you a voice to vote for who is the next board. So it really allows you to start to lead the voice of the open source hardware uh, initiative. How cool is that? <laughs> um, and yeah, okay. 
So I, we also heard some of the challenges of open source hardware, and tomorrow especially, there will, let's get together and talk about some of these challenges. How do you start to think about licenses? Um, what, how, how, what should we do to move this for, to move open source hardware forwards to get more technology to stay accessible, to get it into the hands of people? Um, there are a lot of hard issues and some fear, and I, I think it'll be a really exciting thing to come together and start to brainstorm about some of these issues. Um, also, as we've heard so much, it's not just about the technology, but it's really about the community and sharing, and that's what we're all here to do together, so that'll be really exciting. And so the future, um, the future, uh, so I said some of what we're trying to do, standardize some of the documentation, talk more as a community and uh, drive things forwards in order to uh, proliferate open source hardware and get tools more accessible and, and just move ahead as an organization and a community and sprout up more international communities and organizations that are doing the same thing. Um, so that's about it. And also, I just wanted to say tomorrow, even if you're on the wait list or not registered, it's a community day. So come if you can, just because uh, anyone will be welcome and we'll figure out how to share and community uh, collaborate tomorrow. So. Thanks, Gabby. That's all. And thank you very much for coming from wherever. Thanks, everyone. Let's close day one and see you tomorrow. Thank you.